Okay, hello, this is uh, Point Blank back, and I have this little game called The Siege here. I made another video about it, uh, I think it was yesterday. And what I made was an independent suspension device, which basically it allows you to. Basically, you don't. Every wheel has its own suspension, so say you hit something with one wheel, it'll react differently than the other wheel will react. So let me load it up here real quick. So this is the device. Um, so as you can see I have suspension on each and every wheel. And I have big wheels for like monster truck kind of effect. Uh, and how the, how the independent suspension works is basically let me actually turn it up. There we go, the speed. So, this hinge allows the wheel to go up and down. And then, this hinge here allows it, the wheel, to move freely as well. Because if you don't have this hinge here, then basically it won't do anything. Because the suspension is, will basically kind of be too tight, I guess you could say. And it won't be able to do anything. Let me turn down the volume here real quick. I hope that wasn't too loud. I might actually want to check that real quick. One second. Okay, sorry about that. I was just checking something real quick. So, uh, why don't I just show you guys how the suspension works on something like a hill, like over here. Let me zoom out real quick here. Actually, turn up the speed a little bit. I don't have the best of computers, but it'll work. It works for me at least. Let me turn around real quick here. Turning and speed are pretty good all together. It's not exactly the easiest thing to drive though, because there are there's kind of a lot of power in the back, as you can see. Kind of does a lot of wheelies. Ah. <laughs> uh, so when we go up this hill, you'll be able to see here how the suspension reacts. As you can see, each wheel is different suspension than the other one. I'll give you a better angle real quick here. So if I turn this here. One second, let me get off this mountain. So I'm going to get off this mountain real quick and then go back up it to show you guys how it reacts. I'm going to slow down the speed quite a bit so we can see exactly what's happening. Let off the gas and let it kind of go down a bit so it's not doing such a wheel anymore. You'll be able to see as soon as I hit this that it should. See, each wheel has different suspension in it. So we're going to get stuck here, it seems like. Well, it's stuck, stuck, but I'm going to have to get a better run at it. Turn it around real quick. And drive it right. Okay, now we're down the hill again, so go back. And as soon as we hit this hill here, you can see each one of these things, one of these wheels, not things, has, like I said, different suspension. So, basically it will kind of let it morph, I guess you could say, to the land. So, now we're up the hill. And also, if you guys are trying to build something that, like, you want to get up this hill with, I would definitely say suspension is something that you're going to need. Like, right here, you can see this, this one wheel is going way higher than all the others. Now it's, go, it's going up the hill, it's kind of morphing with the land.
speed it up a little bit here so I can actually drive a little faster. And then, I'm actually gonna jump off the hill over here, just cause I can. Okay, here we go. Off the hill, I've jumped off it so many times now. You may have seen it in the recording that I did the other day. So as soon as this thing hits the ground, it's going to have different ways of reacting to it. Each wheel is going to react different to the ground. So you can see, you'll see each wheel is not doing the same exact thing. That's because of the independent suspension. And now... Oh! <laughs> what a time to stop recording, I guess. Seems to have fallen apart for some reason. I don't think that was from the jump, because... I've jumped that hill a, minute, a million times. I've never done that before. Okay, um, so this is gonna be the ending of this recording. And this is my first kind of how to, I guess you could say, kind of video. Um, I just like to know what you guys think about it. Like, was I rambling on too long? Was it just perfect? Did I not even talk about it enough? And if you like the video, please subscribe, like, you know, comment on the video. I like to, I always like to know what you guys think about the video. And uh thank you for watching.